And guilt free? What a weird thing to say. <gasps> yes. It's like an antagonism. Alright. Okay, that is a weirdness and strangeness in one package. And it doesn't fit me, it doesn't fit me. It's not mine. And I, yes, don't mind to look into stuff at all. Especially and particularly not when it is of help. Yet weirdness, I'm not sure if I want to actually go there. No, I did. Now I'd like to push the stop button, delete and uh, regain my <laughs> space and start over. Yet this is not what is happening. And this is what I do. Can you see it? I did not like it. I had to move forward. Now what is going to happen now? Am I being now pissed in weird words, which are not mine? That is the guilt, right? We feel filthed in the stuff which is not ours. In reality, what I like to say and address is this. The biggest issue in relationships is that people are feeling lonely. Lonely. Within that very relationship. And from there, wrong emanates. So I wish to help you not to feel lonely. To start building and creating within a relationship. Because when we feel lonely, we are bleeding. And no one really expects you to be Jesus. Bleed for others. Let alone for strangers. But why are those strangers? There is no stranger in the world of God. We're just people. In diversity. In a variety of colors. With all having the exact same basic needs. Basic needs. Tender, loving care. Acceptance. Being acknowledged. Yet who is acknowledging what in you? Who are you to be acknowledged to begin with? What do you get to offer? In the vision of God, you can offer that what anybody else could in theory. There is no previous knowledge required. There is no study requested. What you can give is your attention, your full attention to anyone at any time with whom you wish to engage with, for brief that it may. And that is exactly what must be achieved for you to feel you belong to someone else. Oh, wait, you don't want to belong? <laughs> That's a biggie. <laughs> You're literally asking me this. Who is Bixie? <laughs> Bixie's just another dumbass. Gives what's her name? Goldie doll. <laughs> Barbie. Dumb ideas. You must be joking, right? Is this so serious that you ask me about that? <laughs> okay. That's okay. I can I can handle. I can handle. What do you look at when you go see a person? Oh my god, I didn't know I was so needed and requested. Alright, so first and foremost, Barbie is stupid. Even when she copies, she doesn't know. Remember? She's got personality issues, but she doesn't know the name. So she writes personality issues. But this also depicts people who just know they've learned the word. Now they're healers and they want to copy the places. Uh, like my healer, like Reiki people, for example. For me, Reiki people, they're all just imitating cheap imitations of something they do not understand. So anybody who wishes to patronize you is probably in that range. 
Because when you're in a spiritual realm, when you have deeper understanding of life, you do not wish by antonomasy to patronize anybody. So those are the Barbie shits who want to climb up a ladder and will start making themselves a worse by finding followers. You who now say, wow, tell me more about it. Oh, wow, I subscribe to your channel or I sit in front of you and listen to you as a group. Usually those people are shits. Yeah, I can see younger women doing that. Because I took I took the smoke doping dumbass with the open shirt <laughs> and the dumb beard off the, off the grid. Now let's go to the other ones. Yeah, they come all sizes and shapes, but they all want to patronize you beyond the lipstick. So they don't really know what they're talking about. It sounds great, but like I said, if you need to know these words, buy a book, download a book, look up some, there must be a thousand of websites telling you nice words. They're all valid, they're all good. And yes, that probably can make you feel better. Yet it is only in the application of those words in which it matters to you as a person. Otherwise, if you do not apply those, if you do not go through the hard work of actually getting intimate with the concept, then you might become one of those who just now go ahead and take them words and spit them out to those who follow. Follow me! <laughs> yeah, personality issues, that's what they have. Personality issues, yes. Because they're wrong, the spiritual teachings. Hence, they have no idea and no clue what they are teaching. Because they can't teach they just spit out words in repetition without having a deeper understanding what it means. Proof is, when you have a deeper understanding of the spiritual teachings, you do not wish to teach anybody else. Yes, here comes the child of God and telling you to be independent. So Barbie doll is stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. And then next step on Barbie doll, it does anybody. What does she fix it herself on to go on a date? How do I look? How do I look? <laughs> is my lipstick nice? I have Chevron Ray 448. That's the newest thing in fashion. And Madame Jadiju, she uses this too. Yeah, I just point that out. I can continue doing so. It's all about how she looks, and that's also wonderful. Oh yeah, we're all self-conscious, or not. But this is just a start. This is a start, this is like before you actually enter the scene of a relationship. Yeah, you get shaved and showered. Hopefully, you can. <laughs> if you don't, then whatever. But that's just the frame of you, being you. And that's where Barbie ends. And she's stupid, she couldn't even repeat the entire reel. What is my perfect date? Describe. Oh, that's, that's difficult. Oh, um, well, I would say it's April. No, of course she said a different date, doesn't matter which one. April, she said 25, because it's not too hot and it's not too cold, so I only need a light jacket. <laughs> And like me and subscribe me so that's where she ends yeah it is depicting right there it's done yeah name it oh my god he knows how to sit well didn't i talk to you about oh my god he's elegant he knows how to sit three quarters from the table with the profile up another like five eighths of an angle and he has to hold it i don't know does he have a cigarette or not yeah, all them shits that, oh my god, no, Vrappa has to have those kind of shit pants and that ooh, hoodie is in now, blah, 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 blah. And then they sit there and say, look at me, I'm so cool. Look at me, I'm so cool. Oh, she's definitely stupid. Look at my tits. Because <laughs> I have nothing else to give. And I hate everything about this. See, they're never engaged, that's the point. In true honesty, there is none. There is no engagement. There is no wanting to get to know you. There is just, oh, look at me and see what I can score. Yeah, whatever scoring means. Get something out of you, your attention. Yeah, I don't know. 
being acknowledged maybe money or not or food or nothing or just oh my god she's he's gonna tell me i look good or she's gonna make me feel better by blah 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 and more blah all very lonely all very selfish all very stupid if you wish to go in on a date with someone well i think it's super exciting to get to know people that has been my view all my life at least this is how i start <laughs> yeah and then i go out here and i get knocked to the ground right i take the fist out and hit me right in the face yeah and slice me into pieces never mind for that good attempt nice try princess well i don't try i actually did it no can you believe the egotistical display i'm giving you they're all like about to be stupid i'm gonna go out not too hot not too cold i'm gonna sit just there and i put my cross my legs and i'm gonna fuck her off it's disgusting you have no idea how disgusting this is they're grown men yeah a woman often too i haven't seen those yet and that's what the display is i am magical yeah but not with that like i just said and i really mean it to get to know people it's an amazing adventure to me something super exciting yeah hopefully if they would start talking about themselves yeah my eternal quest can somebody actually start talking about yourself men women alike No, they have made up their mind, they have nothing to say, they don't allow to be, and if they say something, they repeat some other, other news, it doesn't matter where, how they come. News of the news, news of the news, news of the news, it doesn't matter, they can speak, I can make the list long, they can speak the news, and they can speak intellectual stuff, they can speak the rap music, they can speak jewelry, they can speak food, they can speak a wine collection, they can speak, I don't know, Hannah Montana, that was a long time ago, right? Taylor, what's her name? Oh, meaning I'm coming out and uh, with a horrible voice. Yeah, go sit with me and tell me that you notice how much this person damages her voice as she sings horrible. How much pain that is and why would anybody go through this? Now we have a talk. And what do you think about fashion? Do you see what I'm saying? I think it's an exciting adventure, but I've never really found anyone who triggered in me the exciting adventure. I was bored to the core in my life and I'm getting hit in the stomach and the face and, and everywhere else. Yeah, and the minute I say something nice, I went complacent again. See, that's what I mean. Ultimately, I can tell you this. I don't mind if you look like this or like that or like that. I don't even mind your age. I don't mind anything. I just mind a little bit of internal connection to spend a moment in looking at you. intimacy we can we cannot talk about it intimacy is a little bit of a word because on one hand i think it actually reserves itself the right to be with your partner yeah with your man or your woman intimacy so i maybe would like to find a different word if you are like talking friends so i say connection i have achieved connections everywhere i went to 100% of their capacity. Yeah, little Patricia, she taught me what lingerie. It doesn't matter the lingerie, it's just a manner of identifying her. Who told me also like smiling about her little says in Mexico. No, not that to cheat la Volciano, no, no, no. Um, that phrase, uh, my people who do not speak Spanish, refers to people who just endlessly and vain talk stuff, which are not belonging to them, just kind of dumb talk. They always have something to add, to say to you, and they always take your time. No Mexican thinks about it this way. So, connections established. As she could do, she looked and suddenly she noticed how stupid that is. What phrase? It doesn't matter. Some phrases they use. I see Kui for example. She brought that up. Now, every time I listen to the phrase, I think about her. Can, can you believe the power? <laughs> because I don't use the phrase and I don't actually mingle with people who say those kind of phrases. It's not my type of people. I know it's most of the people, but it's just not my type. Because they can't handle me in previous life. They cannot handle people like me because I'm a stranger to them. I'm a foreigner. I don't speak their language. I don't look like them. I don't eat like them. And they don't know how to engage with me. Maybe this is my greatest achievement that they're actually listening now and don't feel that excluded, actually feel very included, actually feel like they're leading now. 
in many ways and that's quite all right too but stay brava stay lista oh that's italian by the way brava connection so let's start with connection with just people to people I achieved 100% with each of the people or person I had been with. Yeah, to the extent of her abilities. Now, Patricia, the, you know, as she quickly, she got inside. She looked into the, her own little language, into her own little culture. And from just using a phrase from time to time, she noticed what it could mean and that she could also use something different or not at all. That was 100%. And that was it. It lasted a few minutes and then I went back to my seat and did my job. Everybody feels good when he or she is acknowledged. You love it. You too love it. I don't understand. I wonder why often I'm so diminished and rejected. When we could have such a great time, even the three seconds I enter anywhere, we could have the greatest of times. But they choose to disacknowledge me, they choose to admonish me, they choose to hinder my purpose by just not looking at me, but using me as a little display of, oh, look, I'm a look, here's what he says. Every one of those. I am so scared. I am put impotent. My dick is horrible. I have nasty thoughts. I spend too much time doing something else. I have nothing to offer. I think filthy about every single person, especially women. And I hate the other guys. He cannot really say he hates himself because he hasn't noticed that yet. And I was gonna make a belief and, and, and shoot the world. So maybe I can become finally someone since you princess allow me to sit here. So I'm the star, but I'm a little shit. And I hate you. And if I could, I would slice you in pieces. Something like that. <laughs> That's not even funny. Oh, I've just started. I should use them for a few more words. The last time I went into the store, what's the last time the previous one? I enter on the right side. They have very long skinny legs. I don't know if that's the same person, or a few of those, or if it's just each day someone else. I don't look at them because it's too painful. And they don't even smoke weed. Yeah, don't you think I can see it? What do you think they're doing? What do they think they're doing? They come to me and then another old guy, and that's a new thing. Oh my God, I'm so modern now. I used to be a stiff motherfucker, stiff, 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 profiling my job, not noticing, and I'm gonna be cool, and I'm gonna be young because now I tried dope. Are you joking? Yeah, that was the one on the other side. What do you think you're doing, guys? What do you think, what do you want from me? I don't understand. How come can they not feel lonely in that kind of attitude? The position, they position themselves into something. They put themselves in a little box and think they are going to be protected as they do not open and do not share. You made one of those motherfuckers who is going to slice you to death emotionally with not doing anything. You know, not talking to you, not sharing, it's also a form of aggression. It's called passive aggression. Yeah, I have a few scars of those. And I'm falling apart. How many lies, how many times I have to.